Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to be coloring this velvet picture of flowers. Isn't this cool? This came from a subscriber. And it's a coloring book called Bloom. And some of the pages in here are velvety and they're they're perforated so you can tear them out, which is awesome. They're not all velvety, just some of them are. And the others are just like regular coloring pages. So, as you may know, I have a large collection of markers of all different types. We're going to be using some Sharpie markers. And I also have some of these Amazon Basics markers. These are actually pretty decent and they're fairly inexpensive. They, they don't really cost much. And I also have a few metallics. I don't know if these have any anything left in them or not. Um, I've had them for a while, but I, I thought we could try them out on maybe some of the little flower petals here. So this one and this one are metallic, and I actually have two of these. So if one doesn't work, the other one might work. And so yeah, some of them are Sharpies, like that one. That was a Sharpie, and these two are Sharpies. And so we have a bunch of different types of flowers here. Some are a little small. Oh, we have these little bitty ones here. And then some are down here, and then we have these things here. They could be, they could be leaves, or maybe it could be like a flower that hasn't opened yet. And we could do it either way. And we have these leaves. So I have um, these two green markers here. And this one is kind of a teal color, but sometimes I use it for leaves. So I want to start with this one in the middle. I want to try out this metallic marker. I want to see if it works. <laughs> I haven't used it in a while. Like what we could do is, um, you have the underside of the, the petals. We could do those in a different color. I could look and see if I have a lighter blue, but let's, let's see first if this metallic one works. Oh, it does. Oh, it's very nice, too. I love it next to this black velvet. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? I will show you the sheen when we get done. Not Charlie Sheen. I don't think anybody wants to see that in an ASMR video. I don't know. If you did it right, it might be okay. I'm going to show you the metallic sheen of this cool mark. I love the velvet because it gives you a little, you know, it's it's easy to stay inside the lines. Yeah, I think it already looks pretty. Look at that. Oh, and it, it, it has a nice shine to it. You'll see that in just a minute. And again, we're not doing the underside of the petals. With this color. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. I like it already. I could have done some of these whole petals in a different shade of blue, but I really like this blue metallic marker. It's so pretty. I'm surprised it still works. Usually when I get these metallic Sharpie markers, the blue is the one I use up first. Okay, I think these petals are part of this flower, so I will not do those in blue. Thank you. 
Some of these markers smell weird. They don't smell like the normal ones. Not that they smell great. Okay, now we have these petals back here. I think we will make these two petals part of this flower. I think this one might be part of that one, so we won't color it blue. Blue metallic markers are just so lovely. Well, they make me happy anyway. There. There. Okay. Now I'll show you the shine. Look at it. Oh, it has a nice, a nice reflective quality. I like it. And um, maybe we can use this one. This is metallic ruby. It's called ruby. And this one is metallic sapphire. I think, honestly, this metallic sapphire is my favorite marker color. I just think it's so cool. And it's so reflective. Let's try this purple one. Now, this purple marker is quite a bit darker than the cap would lead you to believe. In fact, um, I have another marker like this that has a much darker cap, but they're the exact same color. Like, they're both just really dark purple, and there's really no difference. Now we can do... I think we'll do these in purple. Um, okay, maybe it's not as dark as I thought it was. There's one of these, though. Okay, that's not too terribly dark. I do have some. It must not be this one, but I do have another marker from Amazon Basics that has a lighter purple lid, but it's really dark when you actually use it. We'll get this little one down here. I hope you had a good day today. <laughs> My day didn't quite go the way it was supposed to, but I guess it was alright. the morning trying to help my older son get signed up for um, a program where you can work on a two-year degree or get college credits your last two years in high school. And it was supposed to be super simple. No, it was not. We was like going on a scavenger hunt trying to gather up everything for the application packet. It took all morning. But we got it done. Okay, so, oh, I like the, the blue and the purple together. That looks good. I guess maybe we should do this one in purple also, and um, maybe that one.
Okay. I am loving this new nail polish that a subscriber sent me. Isn't it pretty? I'm going to put the name of it in the description. I started doing that a couple of weeks ago because so many people ask me to do it. And not one person has even acknowledged that I started doing that. It's kind of like, dang. Okay, maybe it wasn't that important. Maybe that many people didn't care. I don't know. But it was weird because dozens of people had asked me to start putting my nail polish color in the description. And then I did it and it was like, no response. Oh well, I'll keep doing it. Now this is pink, obviously. You know what we should do? Let's do some of these petals in pink and then some. Well, I have blush and bashful here. Like it's basically <laughs> pink and pink. I don't know how different they really are. Um, they're, well, this one is from Shuttle Art. I got them on Amazon. Oh, and this is one of the Amazon basics, but this is a different brand. But I think this one is supposed to be more of a hot pink. Well, let's try this one first. Okay, this is more of a pale pink. Boy, that is light. Maybe, maybe there will be a difference. So we're just going to do random petals in this paler pink color here. then that leaves some that we can try with this supposedly hot pink marker. Now this one is from Shuttle Art. Yeah, it's blush and bashful. It's like, what is the difference? And there's a slight difference, I guess. This one is a little darker. A little bit darker. It's not really all that different. This petal was probably part of this blue flower, but now it's, I have adopted it and it is now part of this flower. a slight difference. See, with the cap on this one, I was expecting it to be darker, but that's okay. I love 
these velvet pictures. So cool. And it's hard to mess up. Here. Now this is not the metallic. This is just a sharpie regular blue marker. Let's see what these little flowers are. No, let's do this one in blue. I oh, forgot about this one up here. of a stem, and then you have your leaves sticking out. Oh, you know what? We haven't tried our metallic pink, or, I'm sorry, metallic ruby. It's more pink than red, in my opinion. Well, we could do some of the little petals here in this metallic ruby. And then do some in another color. Oh, we could come, we could combine, we could combine these two. No, because we have that right next to it. I'll find something. Because I still need to find something to do these edges with. I have a huge marker collection. It's shameful how many markers I have. Because like I've mentioned before, one of my favorite things to do at night after I've done everything I need to do and the kids go to bed, I, I like to just unwind with a, a little coloring page, kind of like something like this. I don't know, it just, it gives me something to focus on, but I don't have to really think about it too much. And it kind of helps clear my mind. Oh, I like that. I'll show you the shine in a minute. here, but maybe you can't really see it, but there's a little bit of a shimmer to the, the metallic ruby. 
And these, I have to decide what to do with these. I think we'll do these in this kind of a teal color. And then we can use these two greens here to do some of these leaves. But right now, I'm going to go look in my little bag of markers and see what I can find for this and for the sections here that I have not done yet. Okay, I found these two little fine tip Sharpie markers. These are ultra fine point markers. Here we have a light pink and a, what I hope is a, light, a lighter blue that we can do here in these parts. I don't really know if... <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look. Let's try the blue first. Okay, and we're just going to come up here and see what this looks like. Not terribly different, but it's not metallic. It's not quite as light as I would ho had hoped, but it is different. at all. Okay, and then we can try this lighter pink down here. Let's see what this looks like. Not very different. It's, I bet it's the palest pink marker that I have. I have one that's kind of beige. That would have been interesting. That would have actually, that probably would have looked pretty good. And it would have been a more of a contrast. But I've already started with this one, so I'm going to keep going. We'll see how it looks. blooming. So nice. Oh, we're having beautiful weather this week. It is so nice outside. It's hard to stay inside and work. You know, YouTube for me is just a hobby. I do have a day job and um, I work from home. I work remotely for a, a company out of state. It's really hard on pretty days to sit inside. I get spring fever. I'm sitting there just looking outside. I just want to go out. But I can't. Okay. So, yeah, okay. It's slightly different. We definitely have another blush and bashful situation going on here. But, yeah. So, we have a little bit of metallic here and here. But the rest of it is just normal markers. Okay, now we have this little bud right here. Ooh, we should do that one in red, like a little rose bud. I'm going to grab a red marker. I have one here. This is an older one, I believe. I've had this one for a bit. But we'll pop it open and see if... I mean, it's not much. Hopefully there's enough in there to color that. Let's try it. And then the stuff around it, we'll do that in green. Yeah, this, this marker is, it's okay, but it's starting to fade a bit. There. Oh, I like that in red. That looks good. Okay, and then, all right, I want to do the little flowers. What should we do with those? I need a different color. Let's see what I can find. I found an orange sharpie. We could try. Let's see how this looks. 
Okay, so these are just tiny, tiny little petals here, and then you come over to this side and you see them again. So really, you just take the tip of the marker and just kind of make a few little marks, and that fills up that little petal perfectly. See? It almost looks red, but it's, it's not. few over here on this side. There we have it. Oh, oh, I think that looks really nice on either side of the blue flower. I think that looks pretty. Okay. Now we can start on some leaves. And I do have these two greens here. This one is a little darker and this one is a little lighter. Now this one is more of a teal. You can definitely see it if you compare it to this darker green. So it's not really green, it's like a blue, blue green. So I want to do these little, little, I don't know what they are little buds or funny leaves. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. And maybe it's those pods like from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. If you haven't seen the 1978 version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, oh my word, that movie is so good. It, the ending is so creepy with no music. It's really, it's something. It's a really good movie. And the fact that it has Jeff Goldblum in it, and I'm saying it's a good movie, is entirely coincidental. Although I have seen almost every movie he's ever been in, and he is the reason I watched it to start with. But it's actually very good. It's very good. But they see, they have these little pod things. And it was some creature from outer space. I mean, you kind of get that idea at the beginning of the movie when they're doing the credits. And um, they came from outer space. And they started as this clear, gooey stuff. It looked like gelatin. And then it formed these little pod things with a little flower on it. And people would pick the pods and um, take them home. And overnight, the pod would basically duplicate the person. And they would become a pod person. It was really creepy. <laughs> it's a little, a little trivia thingy. In the, one of the beginning scenes of the movie, you get to see a younger Robert Duvall dressed up like a, a priest swinging it on a swing in a little park. I think he's wearing sunglasses and being kind of weird. But that's Robert Duvall, who I think is an awesome actor. See, it's not really green, but it's not blue either. So, even if it's, a f it could still be a flower. It could be a flower. It could be a leaf. We don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. I find that people tend to overthink things that don't matter. Don't worry about it. You know, if you catch yourself worrying about something, just ask yourself, is this something that's going to matter in five years? If not, let it go. There. We have those. That one. These. These. And one more for here. Or if you want a fun little experiment. 
write down the things that you're worried about on a piece of paper and put it away and look at it again in 10 years and I bet a lot of the things that you worried about you will laugh about in 10 years. Like I can't believe I spent time worrying about that. Okay, now we can go in with the green. We have the dark and the light and we can just do, we can do these leaves in different shades of green. So we can start with this dark one. I want to do, let's do this one. This great big leaf up here is catching my attention. There's one. Do this one. And they don't have to match. It doesn't matter. You know, nature doesn't worry about everything matching. light. I want these two to be lighter and then we will do some of these in a dark green. I think it's kind of boring when everything matches. Now my mother is a big fan of everything matching bothers her that my the stuff in my house doesn't match. It, you know, it didn't come together as a set or whatever. She likes for things to match. We've decided to agree to disagree on that. There. And that is now going to leave a few Let's, I, I want to do this in a light green too, but it leaves you with a few leaves here and there. Let's just hope there's some contrast. I do have a marker that's a mint green. It's much, it's definitely lighter. It's more of a mint color. We can try this lighter one, and if it's not really any different, and it may not be, I haven't used this one in a bit. If this is not really a lot lighter, um, I'll grab the mint green marker. I'll try it right here. It's really not all that different. I mean, it's a little different. Let me, um, see if I can find my mint green marker. Okay, I have this one. This is a Sharpie Ultra Fine. And you can see from the color on the cap that it should be pretty different. So let's try the mint green. Let's try right here. Well, that's different. It's very pale. We can come back over it a little bit. Fill it in. But see, it's still, it's, it's quite a bit lighter than the dark green, which is what I wanted. We could do this big leaf right here with it. Gives it a little bit of color, but it's not as dark as that one. So it's going to stand out a little bit. There.
then we have these little sticky outy leaves down here. We'll give those a little bit of color too. Isn't it neat? It's so cool. say rosebud. It may not be a rosebud, but to me it kind of looks like one. A very small one. So looky there. There we have it. We have finished our little black velvet picture. Look at all those nice colors. I really like it. I think it makes a lovely bouquet. And then you have this soft velvety background too. It's pretty great. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you again really soon.